Don't want to forget this. Hey guys, I'm Josh Douglas. I'm sitting in my house right now preparing to go down to Douglas Lake for the first Bassmaster Northern Open uh, down in Tennessee. Biggest thing that I got before the tournament is getting everything ready. I'm gone. I clock a lot of hours on the road. Uh, my, my truck is sometimes my office. 10, 12, 15, 24 hour days and trying to pack everything, make sure I have everything that I need. Um, it's not always easy to get to a tackle shop. I, I keep a lot of stuff with me and uh, I'm going to show you how it is that over the years I've gotten a little bit kind of efficient doing it and uh, here's, what, here's what we got. The back of the truck, first of all, um, I use my Lear topper. This thing saves me. I keep a lot of stuff back here. It locks everything up safe and it, it makes it so that I can carry a lot of stuff with me at a single time. Um, first thing you'll see is a net. You plan on catching fish in a tournament, you got to have a net. Uh, I keep my uh, seats, extra seats, oil, my electrical cords. We're at hotels and cabins and stuff like that. A lot of houses we rent, you always got to make sure you have a, plenty of electrical cords with you. Sometimes you're putting two or three of them together. Um, other things we have, uh, my tarp I'll keep back here obviously. And this bag, this is what I would call my line bag. I never know what I'm going to need for line. But I got it all with me. And I bring these totes. Uh, you can see I carry a lot of them, sometimes more than others. Some, it just all depends on what we're doing. Sometimes you go from a place like Lake Erie down to the Arkansas River and you're talking two polar opposite fisheries. One you're in 30 feet, the other one you're in like two. So different kind of things, need different kind of stuff and I got to be able to bring it all. These totes fit these big planos perfectly and uh, like I said I keep them full of soft plastic baits uh, and they, they fit them all good. I got ones full of tungsten, uh, more line, different BioVex baits. All of them fit nice in here. I know where everything is. The system works great for me. These are great. These are these Cabela's bags are awesome, man. They fit all my reels. I can take all my reels and keep them in here that way for storage. Everything just fits real nice inside of these. And with all these with these big boxes, I can fit those Plano the bigger Planos inside there and stack. I can fit a lot of stuff and it's all organized. I know where everything is. Uh, I spent many many years trying to find stuff, you know, looking around boats for a certain Bass Pro Shops bag, a Cabela's bag that I put stuff in. Uh, all of these I keep my tackle and stuff in, that front one there, that's for truck. Every, you know, every year you get a new boat, you put on a new new electronics, keep your extra stuff. I can't tell you how many times I've, night before a tournament, 10 o'clock at night, a graph, something's not working, wiring, keep every, all that little thing. Sometimes you can help somebody else out there and karma's a good thing in my book. So. If this is, this is my house on the road, the back of the truck is my garage, and I'll take you up to the front to my office. All right, we come up to the, uh, this is, I guess the bedroom we can call this here. Keep extra warm hoodie, you never know what you're gonna run into for weather, the jersey. We got a big suitcase, like I said, we put on, this is a Super Tubos from Japan, they sell these here. To, they're durable, they're on wheels, and I can fit a lot of stuff into them. Uh, washer and dryer isn't always the closest thing around, so sometimes you just got to pack a lot. Open this side. I try to leave this side open. You can see the other side I stack up, and the reason for that is, again, clocking a lot of hours early, mornings, long drives. Sometimes I got to pull over at a truck stop and just put the seat back. Safety's first, and that's most important. So. I try to keep that open. I've learned the hard way not to put suitcases and stuff because then it's a long night you're sitting up. Um, and here, one little tip I will tell everybody, put your rain gear in your truck, maybe even in your hotel. I used to put it in my boat all the time and when you wake up at 3.30 in the morning from your hotel room and it is downpouring outside, you really wish that you had your rain gear accessible. I keep extra shoes, Gore-Tex boots, you never know what you're going to need, uh, spare parts, extra hats. Every sponsored angler's got to make sure he's got his hats. Plus, they fly off your head sometimes. And this is one of the coolest things. Let me actually show you this. This, I try. This right here is my Ingel refrigerator, freezer, cooler. It's got Ingel technology all over it. Uh, keeps ice for a long time. 
Why I like that, it runs off my, my battery system of my truck, it keeps it to temperature, I can unplug it, it'll keep it cool all day the next day, but now I can bring my sandwich meats, I can bring, I can keep ice packs in there, stuff to drink, so I'm not stopping at your fast food restaurants, and uh, part of being on the road is trying to stay healthy, and it's so easy to get away from that, and, and it's convenient to stop. This saves me money, which is very important, and I'll also I, I think my health. I and keep my stuff in there. I got my sandwich stuff. I don't always have to stop at the gas station right before I hit the water. My and go refrigerator does that for me, and it's with my truck. Easily one of my favorite things. All right, this is this is definitely the office right here. Um, being on the road in the day of social media, internet, um, you got to have that kind of stuff with you. I have sponsor obligations, I have a family, a house, all that kind of stuff that I need to uh, just keep up with. Plus, I, you know, it's nice to have that stuff. Uh, this right here, I keep my computer, my iPad, all that kind of stuff with me there. Uh, my Navionics chips. This is a nice bag. This is made by Love Soul Dream. Uh, it's a Japanese company that's releasing their baits here soon. Keep all my Navionics cards. Uh, GoPro stuff like that I keep in here this goes right in my boat with me every day and uh, a good camera every fisherman knows about the gripping grin gotta have a camera for that and spare rods I of course I have my boats full of rods too uh, most all my main tackle before I go I, I everything's rigged I, I got everything that I think I'm gonna need when I show up to the lake in that boat ready to go right now uh, these are just backups here um, Got to get you some rods. These slicks here, these are the deal. Keep all my eyelets, everything organized, real easy. And that's about it. Clear to go up there. I got everything accessible to me on the road. And uh, the fuzz buster. I put a lot of miles on the road. I don't always know what the speed limit is. That's, I had a bad year. That's made me have a better year, so. Well, that's it, guys. Once you've selected the right truck, I hope these tools will help make your life a little bit more efficient while out on the road and do more fishing and less, uh, less organizing. I got a tournament to get to. Douglas Lake, Tennessee is calling my name. I'll see you on the water.